Hello, good afternoon. Hello, and good afternoon, everybody. Um, just so you know, I hold my phone back as far as my arm will stretch it. <laughs> and then when I watch the replay, I'm like this. <laughs> I don't mean to. I don't mean to give you such a close up. It looks one way when I'm shooting it now, and it'll look different when I replay it. Sorry about that. One day I'll figure out a tripod situation. But I am back uh, for more how to write a book in 30 days tips and tricks. And again, not that I expect you to write a book in 30 days, not that I'm calling you forth on that. These are just tips that I think will um, support no matter where you are in your journey, whether you want to launch into writing a book, you want to power through finishing your book, or you're stuck and you're looking for a way back in. And actually, that's exactly what we're going to talk about is how to get into your book. So um, it makes me think of, uh, it makes me think of, I was a first year, I majored in humanities. I took a bunch of bullshit, but super fun courses <laughs> on um fairy tales and fables and dystopias and it was a blast and then I I decided to choose something more practical like French literature and Spanish literature so go figure anyways um so in those studies we we studied magic places right we studied portals hey hey Jared um so places like you know when when you're reading books these places that have a lot of magic and mystery about them so attics and basements and forests and and uh, wardrobes and closets. Um, these are all, you know, portals into other worlds and, and the fantastical and uh, the magical and the scary and the unknown. And so um, I talk about portals with my writers because I'm like, how do we step into the space of creation? Right? You are getting the kids ready for school and you're reading your emails and how do you move from that, shift from that to writing book, whether that's fiction or memoir or whatever you're up to, you need to like completely shift your mind space, your mindset. So I talk about portals. And so there's a lot of ways uh, that we can get in the zone, we can get in the flow of our writing. The first thing that I do, um, and it happens completely organically, I'll just start listening to some music. And I'll notice that this music that I'm really into at a particular moment is um, really synced into the mood that I'm evoking and creating in my novels. Um, I won't go down that hole, which is why I wonder sometimes, am I writing the book or is the book writing me? Like, I don't know which one is coming first right now. But um, absolutely, I start to create a play uh, playlist as I start writing, and then I've got this playlist, and it's like uh, reset. I just go to that first thing as I start writing, and I step right back into the mind space, the mindset that I get to be in. Um, there's lots of things that writers do. Uh, they light candles. They um, create. I've heard about writing shrines. I've never tried that before, but you know, some writing retreats and some writing coaches uh, recommend these shrines, um, a, a, a room, a dedicated room, um, even the dedicated time, which I do talk about, selecting a time, a space, uh, carving that out for yourself where you're away from distractions and people. Um, that's a portal as well. Um, I had a writing mentor. I, I won't name her just in case she wants to, you know, keep this close to her, but um, who actually dressed in head to toe costume to cross the threshold into her book. And I really love that. I really love that. Um, I exercise, go for walks in nature. Uh, all of those things, all of those things help me get in the mood, get in the flow. These are things I've heard work for other authors. And so just want to presence that for you. If you feel like uh, you're having a hard time getting into your book, getting in the flow, try finding what is the right portal for you. What's the, what's the magic portal that's going to take you there and, um, and create a routine and a rhythm uh, of that. And you'll notice it's just that much easier to get back into it as you, you know, step away, move through your day, you come back the next day, um, when you've got this sort of 
uh, Pavlov's dog or knee jerk reaction uh, type routine that puts you back into uh, the place you were before where your creative t- creativity is flowing, the ideas are coming to you, you are aligning with your characters and the plot is moving seemingly on its own volition. So um, that's my tip of the day. Find your magic portal, try out all of these different methods if you don't have one already and see which one is really working for you. And um, I'm curious to hear in the comments, what do you guys use uh, to get into your writing for the day? What puts you in the mood and what's working for you? I'd love to hear from you as well. Thank you. And I'll see you again here tomorrow for more how to write your book in 30 days, tips and tricks. Bye.